Hi everyone and welcome to another 10 minute Substack workout. Well done for getting ready to press play. I know it's not easy, we're, we're busy, we're tired, but if you can just stick to a minimum of 10 minutes a day, stay consistent with that. Something is always better than nothing and after time you are gonna start to see results. So we're gonna do 10 minutes today. We're gonna do four different exercises, 40 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Okay, so there's not much time to show you the exercises in the rest, so I'm gonna show you them now. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be sit up. So you're sitting down, feet in front of you, bit of a bridge with the knees, and we're gonna sit up, and you're gonna reach with your right hand to tap your left foot, control the way down, up, left foot to the right, left hand to the right foot, okay, switching sides each time. That's the first exercise. We've got 10 seconds rest, then we're gonna do just a simple forearm plank, so elbows underneath your shoulders. If it's too difficult, knees on the floor. The third exercise, I'm really big into single leg strength and stability, and I think the lunge is the best exercise for that. Big step forward, lower your knee to the floor, feet together, and switch for 40 seconds. And then the last exercise we're gonna do is a cardio one. We're either gonna be running on the spot, like this, getting the knees up high, or if you want a lower impact one, you can march like this. Okay, so those are the four exercises, 40 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, three rounds okay 10 minutes so let's get ready to go okay onto your back feet out in front of you okay just sit up to begin with let's go tap your foot control the way down and switch try and set a pace you can stick to for 40 seconds Okay, I, I don't like to use a yoga mat some of you might find it uncomfortable but I really do like the minimal approach minimalist approach that all you need is a few meters of floor space. It just takes away barriers. You know, if you're traveling and you think, oh, I haven't got my yoga mat, so I'm not gonna do a workout. I don't want you to have to rely on that. You don't need anything, just your own body weight. Okay, keep going with these sit-ups. Okay, I'm just distracting myself by talking. One more, 10 seconds, okay. Next one is that plank. Okay, remember you can do this on your knees if it's too difficult. All right, so try and have your elbows underneath your shoulders. Try and have your butt a little bit lower than your shoulders as well. If you feel good, you can really brace your arms, your glutes, your core, make it like a really active workout. Remember, like I said, if it's too difficult, same position, just lower those knees onto the floor, okay? Doesn't matter if you go for an easier variation, we've just got to get 40 seconds work. 10 minutes total. Okay, 10 seconds. For me, this is the hardest one. It's also going to be a bit harder having done a core exercise before with the sit-ups. Okay, uh, rest. Okay, next one we're going to do, we're going to do these alternate lunges on the spot. I'll show you from the side. So feet together. Big step forward. Lower that back knee to the floor. Push your feet together and switch. Okay, keep switching sides. Okay, so... Functional movements like going up and down the stairs, but also if you're into running or playing sports, so important to have strong and stable lower body, okay? We always have one leg slightly stronger than the other, and doing single leg exercises over a period of time evens out that strength to give you a more symmetrical, more stable body, okay? Keep going. If, you, if it feels tough, you don't have to go as low as I'm going. You can just take a step and kind of do a shallow lunge. Okay, really good. Okay, so we've done the two core, we've done the lower body. We're gonna do the cardio now, okay? Running on the spot. Try and get the knees up high, okay? Use your arms. Okay, if it's really difficult, like I said, you can, you can march nice and slowly. This is the low impact version. We're just trying to get the heart rate slightly elevated. Keep going. Okay, sorry about the microphone, probably bumping against my collarbone. Let's keep going, okay. Get those knees up high. Okay, if you're feeling good, push yourself faster. Get the knees up really high. Keep moving, try and set a pace that you can stick to for 40 seconds. Okay, really good. Okay, one round down, two more to go. So now you know what to expect. Let's go back to the sit-up, feet in front of you. Opposite hand taps the opposite foot, control the way down, try not to collapse down. 
Keep switching sides. Really good, okay? You might not believe me, but I had some technical issues and I already did this workout, but the microphone wasn't working. So I'm doing it again, 20 minutes for me, 10 minutes for you, unless you wanna join me and do this again, which you're welcome to. Okay, really good. All right, back to the plank. Like I said, that was a movement core exercise, getting up off your back, useful skill. This one is more about bracing and keeping a nice flat back. Okay, really important for things like picking something heavy up, uh, weightlifting, the ability to brace your core so that your back stays flat. Okay, remember, knees on the floor. I'm just using this as an excuse to do it myself. I find it really difficult. Brace, okay, if you find it easy, tense your arms, your legs, your glutes, your core. Make it active, make it harder. Hold it for a little bit longer. Okay, rest. Okay, back to the lunges. Okay, alternate lunges, switching sides, feet together. Okay. Okay, I do go to the gym. I do lift weights, do kind of squats and things like that. But I'll always keep body weight lunges as part of my weekly training. Just because I like it because you're putting all your body weight into one leg, so you don't need that much added weight. You build stability, and like all of these exercises, the best thing is you can do them anywhere. Okay, gyms come and go, classes come and go, but body weight training that you can do with no equipment is always with you. Okay, and therefore you can stay consistent with it. Okay. Running or marching, remember, this is marching, you're not jumping, so no impact. Otherwise, get those knees up, use your arms. Let's go. Okay. I'm kind of paranoid about the microphone. Keep going, get those knees up high, running around, use your arms. Okay, don't worry too much about the neighbors below you, it's only 10 minutes, come on. It's health, it's exercise. Keep your core braced, nice tall posture. Imagine you're running up a hill, use your arms as well. Okay, last round. Okay, we've made it this far. Let's go all the way to the end. Feet out in front of you. Last sit ups, let's go. Opposite foot, control the way down. You've got that little twist at the top to make it a little bit harder. Get the obliques. Try to keep your heels stuck to the floor. Try not to let them come off the floor as you go down. Woo. Okay, so like I said, just 10 minutes. I'm hitting all the muscle groups. My heart rate is elevated. So important to have this moment during the day, even if it's not necessarily for building muscle or losing weight, staying consistent with movement has so many health benefits. And you increase the intensity slightly, you've got that baseline of fitness. Okay, back to the plank. Okay, elbows underneath your shoulders. Okay, this is the last plank, thank goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try and concentrate on this. I do find this one difficult. Okay, but that's good. Okay, if I find it hard, it means I've got room for improvement. And by doing it frequently, I'm gonna get better at it. Let's hold this. Come on. Knees on the floor if you need to. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, I'm sweating. Not just because it's hot, but it is a tough workout. Okay, you don't need that much time to get a good workout in. Okay, rest really good. Okay, last lunges, we're almost there. Okay, I've finally got it accurate. I think it's gonna be exactly 10 minutes. Okay, lunge, knee to the floor. Okay, like I said, I'm doing all the way down. 
Okay, full range of motion gets more of the muscle. If it feels uncomfortable, you can just take a big step and just do a shallow lunge. It's still going to work the leg and push it back. You can build up towards those deeper lunges. Okay, a little tip. If you do feel any knee pain, you might want to prefer or try a reverse lunge instead. Okay, slightly more knee friendly, but slightly harder to balance. Keep going. Try and get two more. All right, here we go. To the finish line, nine minutes exactly. We're gonna finish on 10. Okay, happy with that. Last bit of cardio. Try and keep up with me. Let's go. Use your arms, stay nice and tall. Get your knees up high. Okay, move around the room if you want. Try and keep moving. Arms up high, knees up high. Last little bit of effort. Come on. Let's keep it going. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Ten minutes. I took my microphone off. I'm not done yet. Well done for getting that in. Like I said, it's not easy, okay? I'd say at least try and get 10 minutes a day. Easier said than done, okay? When we're busy, when we're tired, even 10 minutes can feel like a lot. But I bet you anything, you don't regret doing that workout and you're going to feel better because of it, okay? Prioritize sleep. Try and get a good amount of protein in your diet. Try and stay consistent with at least 10 minutes a day. And after a period of time, you are going to start to see results. Okay, well done for joining me and I'll catch you next week for the next